29 degrees uh, downtown Sylacaque uh, at about four minutes after the hour. And the gentleman to my right uh, needs no introduction to many of you, and some of you he might. We're talking with uh, Charles McGowan, who uh, for nearly 40 years has been a part of uh, uh, paint and, and uh, the process uh, of uh, helping you select your paint at Sharon Williams in Sylacauga. And uh, Charles is retiring. And Charles, good morning to you, sir. It's been good a pleasure to know you all these years. And we were talking off camera about our day shooting hoops down at uh, the rec center, uh, those chain link goals. Oh, yeah. Net. <laughs> uh, Charles, uh, you started uh, uh, really back in the mid 70s as a stock keeper, but we're going to go back further than that. And let's talk about uh, you, you growing up and uh, uh, went into the military, but you're a graduate of East Highland High School. And what, that was uh, what, 70 or so? Yes, 1970. I graduated okay. East Highland. Okay. Last class. Yeah. Uh, talk about uh, your rearing in Sylacauga and uh, living in a community like this. Well, we I was born and raised here. Uh, Born at the old Drama Frazier Hospital <laughs> down in Mill Village. Uh, attended East Highland High School. Uh, played on the state championship basketball team in 1970. And it was a great life here, uh, home. And so I went out to school uh, in the service, come back. And Jerry Hauser, the guy that was uh, my replacement on the basketball team that we played on, had the job. And he was going back to school at Tuskegee, so uh, he had the audacity to introduce me to Mr. Axon and uh, refer me for the job. So that's when I got the job at Sherwin Williams Star. But I started out in Silicon as a kid, thir around 13, uh, at Mac and Ted. And I worked there. Uh, of one thing about life, Jimmy Dale, that I'm, I'm turning 63 tomorrow on my retirement date. And for 53, 50 years, my work history in Zillicago has been all in that block. Wow. Um, <laughs> so it's, it's been great. Yeah. Talk a little bit before we go any further about uh, uh, developing a worth, work ethic at an early age. Well, that's, that's something that you have to do. Uh, if, you, if you don't have the background, uh, then you're lost. Uh, you have to have a good work ethic. You have to know, you have to, to be in this line of work, you have to be able to deal with people because people are the source of you, what you're trying to do. And you gotta be great with them. And you'll learn something every mm -hmm. day mm -hmm. about people. Talk about your family a little bit. Well, I was, I was born, my father, my mother passed when I was five years old, so my father remarried. We were raised by our father and a step parent. And as we grew up uh, doing school and, and when I got back out of service, I met my wife and on the day that we buried my father. So uh, we, we have grown now. We have two children, a uh, boy and a girl. Uh, we're all, sort of an all-American family. Uh, my son's a Alabama graduate, my daughter's an Auburn graduate, and I attend the UAB. So we, wow. We're, we're out Diverse family background, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> uh, Charles McGowan, our guest uh, this morning, and, and, and a lot of you have seen Charles. Uh, maybe you've seen him in passing. He's one of those guys who is behind the scenes uh, in a lot of different areas, including the Chamber of Commerce uh, in Sylacauga, who makes a lot of things happen. But in 1975, when you began uh, at Sheridan Williams and Mr. Hugh Atkinson, I know you remember that oh, guy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's quite a gentleman. Uh, Mr. Atkinson hired me and he was real interested in me. He did a lot of things for me as I grew up. A uh, lot of wisdom. Uh, matter of fact, I worked for him and his son. Uh, he, he had twin boys, Mac and Jack. And Mac, Mac worked and for him. Right. Ah. Uh, Mac worked for Mr. Axon as a system manager when I got the job as a stock keeper. And I was there until Mac and John Trammell uh, actually came in as a system manager behind Mac. And after John left, he promoted me to his assistant manager. And then he retired. And that's when it all started, my career all started there as the manager. Oh. 
working for a, a company like Sharon Williams, which is worldwide, uh, and on a local level, you you've gotten to meet a lot of people. And uh, you know, being in business, it's, it's a people business, is it, Charles? Oh yes, oh yes. You you, I've seen the business really change from the time I, from the time I started. Uh, you had the older painters here, these guys like your Johnny Corbett's and Norman Mims and those guys. To where it is today, you got a lot of younger guys that are in the field, but uh, you have to have that. You have to be able to change with that. Mm. You heard the old saying, it's like watching paint dry. You know, <laughs> th this this kind of business is, is, is a business that's here every day. You started in 1975 as a, uh, a, uh, a stock worker and uh, 40 years. And loyalty, Charles McGowan, is something we don't hear a whole lot of uh, in today's society. And to work for one company for 40 years that says a lot about the company and the individual. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, it's it have to be. Yeah, first of all, Jim Dale, you got to be doing something that you enjoy doing. And I, f I think that the thing that I really enjoy the most in in life is people. Uh, I like working with people. I like meeting people, all kinds of people, uh, regardless of who they are. And that motivation, that give you something to look forward mm -hmm. to getting out of bed for every morning. And you gotta have that good family background. You know, you, uh, you get a wife and children and your wife is not putting uh, a lot of uh, emphasis on doing this, doing that, mm -hmm. she's backing you. So you gotta have that too. Now, yeah. you, your uh, retirement officially is is tomorrow and the, the from 11 to 2, they've got a gathering in, in honoring your retirement at the store. And, and uh, you know, when you look back over it, there's a lot jam-packed into 40 years of working with the same company. Uh, any uh, thoughts about, wow, tomorrow is really it? Yeah, I've had those, I've had those moments uh, to myself. Uh, you start to look back over there and, you, and things start to flash in front of you. you start to think about different people that you've met. Uh, you start to wonder, what am I going to do now? <laughs> uh, and it's, it's, it's just an ongoing thing. Is this yeah. young lady out here, is she going to kind of guide you in what you going to do next? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, I got up in the morning and uh, uh, I had a day off. I was sitting around the house and she brought in this piece of paper that said these are the things that we're going to try to do that we hadn't done. But one thing that we right now that we will face with in our family is, is uh, a lot of sickness. Uh, we have, I have a brother that uh, is in Columbus in the hospital <clears throat> now. He had his leg amputated and they're thinking about possibly having to do the other leg. Mm -hmm. And I got a brother in the hospital in Birmingham. So we're going to have to do a lot of catching. Being, it's going to give us some freedom to be able to go do things uh, that you can't do and work. Yeah. So yeah. We, we Do you have do a, a pastime that you look forward to maybe picking up and going forward with that? Uh, my pastime has been really my yard. I, I spend a lot of time in it during the summer. Uh, I like doing that. It, it, it gets me to some time when it's no bad with me. And you got about three or four hours that you can play with a lawnmower and it's just you, nothing but you and your thoughts. Yeah. So I, I, I really enjoy your work. Uh, um, we're talking with Charles McGowan, who tomorrow will finish a journey of 40 years with Sharon Williams uh, in Silicon. I started as a stockkeeper back in 1975, promoted to assistant manager uh, in uh, uh, 1978, and was promoted to store manager in 1982. And uh, uh, this man, I've known him for a long, long time. We kind of grew up together. He mentioned he'll be celebrating a birthday tomorrow. Uh, I'm birthdaying later on this weekend, a year mm. older than Charles. But Charles, a lot of things have changed down through the years. Oh, yeah. But Silicon, Alabama is a good place to live in. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've, I've been around the world uh, with a military career, as you know. 
uh, and I've seen a lot of things, a lot of places, but there's nothing like Silicon mm -hmm. to live. I, I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. Now you retired from the military, what, uh, several years ago? Uh, three years ago mm -hmm. I retired uh, from the uh, Army Reserve. Mm -hmm. That was my pastime while I worked at Sherwin Williams. Uh, I retired as a military sergeant major, so we, we had a good military career and a good professional career at Sherwin Williams. Talk a little bit about your military career. Uh, you know, there were some Ooh. difficult days uh, oh, yeah. back in that time. Yeah. Well, I had, I had a pretty good military career. The law was on my side. Uh, he led me through it all. I, I went in, I, I was trying to get into Fort Benning, Georgia as an infantry guy to dodge the Vietnam War and some personal problems I had. And uh, they wouldn't take me. So I got, come back home, started working at Avondale and got drafted. Uh, I went back and the things had changed in the military and the colonel that I talked to decided that, well, what I want to talk to you going back into trying to, vol that volunteer status that you had and I can make you a military pay specialist. So I spent 30, something, 30 years in the military mm -hmm. as a military pay specialist. I didn't get too involved with weapons and things like that. Yeah. Uh, it, again, that was back to people. Yeah. And my background in military personnel and um, personnel and finance is my background. You've seen uh, a lot of people, a lot of uh, moms and dads, and see their children grow up, and their children have children uh, down through the years, and uh, uh, relationships is so important. And I, I, I know uh, that your relationship with your God is important. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right now I'm a member of the Pine Grove Missionary Baptist Church in uh, Odin, Alabama, in this area. I've been there for over 25 years doing that, and I'm a member of the Deacon Board. Uh, we was under the uh, leadership of Reverend Bolton, who was mm -hmm. a uh, pastor there for some 53 years and passed a couple years ago. But religion has always been a part of our life, and it's been something that we, uh, we, we cherish a lot. Uh, I think that's why the Lord gave me the beautiful wife that he gave me, is because religion, because when, I, when we lost my father, uh, to me that seemed like that was it. And I met my wife the same day that we buried him. And that's when the Lord brought the, the religious aspect mm -hmm. of my life back into my life without even taking it from me because yeah. all this happened the same yeah. day. Uh, you mentioned uh, two children, both uh, college educated. H how important is it today, Charles, been in, being in business for nearly 40 years with one company, the importance of getting that education? Well, I've, that education is re very important. If, if you have a desire to do anything with your life or <clears throat> go anywhere in today's society, you got to be educated. Uh, opportunities are better with education. Uh, you're lost without it. Uh, and we, we really stress that. Uh, I got a lot of relatives uh, on my side and my wife's side that are educated. Uh, so you, you got to really push yeah. the education. Yeah. Charles McGowan, our guest, Charles. Uh, Finishing up nearly 40 years uh, with Sharon Williams' retirement uh, uh, party tomorrow. And uh, that'll be a meet and greet from 11 until 2 at Sharon Williams' store on uh, Broadway in Sylacauga. And uh, what is that, 3rd Street? Right? What, what is uh, that? It's that on the corner of 3rd uh, and Broadway. Broadway, yeah. And uh, so uh, if you can, get by and visit with Charles and, and tell him how much you appreciate his service to our community. You know, you've been a part of the Christmas Parade, the JCs, the Rotary Club. And uh, just uh, if, you, if I describe Charles McGowan, uh, a good man who doesn't look for the limelight. You know, I've, I've heard uh, uh, people talk with, at the Chamber of Commerce about Oh yeah, Charles will take care of that. Charles McGowan will take care of that. And you don't have to worry about it. And, right. and, and that's a good thing to have attached to you uh, as an individual. And of course, after nearly 40 years of uh, service uh, in our community, we uh, 
salute you, sir, and thank you to your, uh, for your service to our country. And uh, thank you for all your time helping people paint and get their paint supplies. But more than that, being a friend of this community, and we appreciate you being with us this morning. And uh, tomorrow is uh, the final day for Charles McGowan at Sharon Williams. That is from 11 to 2, get by the store and uh, see him. And uh, Charles, always a pleasure to see you, and good luck in your retirement. Thanks, Jim. Dan. All right. Charles McGowan, our guest this morning, and that's tomorrow from 11 to 2. Go by the store uh, at uh, Broadway and 3rd Street, and Charles will be there. And uh, get by there and uh, let him know how much you appreciate uh, him and uh, congratulate him on his retirement.